and a very good September morning to you and welcome to my study once again with a book which is no no great surprise and this one the Haunted Pub Guide by Guy Lion Playfair a noted paranormal investigator who worked with the likes of Harry Price and they worked together on that classic Enfield Post Poltergeist case and he wrote a book especially on it actually most interesting and this one is full of tales stories and legend pubs throughout the, throughout the different localities of this country here we have story let's have a look let's try and find an interesting one shall we let's have a mooch ye old St Anne's Castle Great Lees Essex parts of the inn date from the 12th century and it has been the scene of poltergeist activity following the disturbance of the witch's grave that's that one that's that one there at the bottom there. this one there it is see ya so I'm going to get a closer look let's have a look shall we let's have a mute just through it are you sitting comfortably then I'll begin the old St Anne's Castle Great Lees Essex the area around Chelmsford six miles from here provided the victims for some of the most major show trials that followed the witchcraft acts of 1563 one of these resulted in no less than 19 hangings and it is not surprising that the Great Lees has its share of legends dated from those days. One of them uh, suddenly revived itself in a most unpleasant way during the Second World War when military bulldozers chewed up a site traditionally believed to be that of a convicted witch's grave. As Mark Alexander discovered, the triangular spot in question is still known as Scrap Faggot Green, the first two words being an old local term for a witch. From then on, some distinctly unpleasant things began to happen in the village, especially as this at this inn parts of which date from the year 12th century. According to Hallam, there was a major outbreak of destructive poltergeist activity shortly after the disturbing of the grave area. And 30 years after the event, its aftershocks were still apparently to be felt. Good heavens. Proprietor Dennis Higginson told Alexandra of the Bluers uh, delivery man who refused to go into the cellar after encountering a thing down there, and of a teenage girl who, who spied something in the fireplace of the downstairs bar. Can you imagine that? That was uh, nasty enough to make her pass out cold on the spot. This case offers the serious researcher an opportunity to study the effects of a local belief in witchcraft in our time, but it is not for the faint-hearted. There we go, a little tale. Lovely, lovely buildings. Look at that traditional, traditional Elizabethan overhang of that particular pub there. Wonderful architecture. More there. 
that's that's the pub in question there I'll just mention about the witch Come on. it's a remote one there at the bottom look Delve in there again. There we go. Nice to see you again. Thanks for popping by. Guy Lion Playfair. See if you can find it on your travels. Have a wonderful rest of the day. See you soon. All the best. Bye bye.